Hello UOP, my name is Nicole Moses and I'm so excited to be applying to your speech and language pathology graduate program. While completing the prerequisites required for your program, I volunteered at Scripps and Sanitas Hospital where I spent a lot of time observing one of UOP's alumni, Kelsey Nelson. And by the end of my volunteer experience, after watching how skilled and confident she was with so many different types of clients from voice disorders to aphasia to apraxia, and witnessing how passionate and caring she was, <clears throat> I decided that that's the kind of clinician I wanted to be, and I knew that I wanted to be trained and educated in the same way. I have worked as a trapeze artist for the past five years, while also coaching trapeze and circus classes to kids. While doing research and learning more about the field of SLP, I was fortunate enough to combine my love of circus arts and my growing interest in speech pathology. Through a unique volunteering opportunity with a clinic in San Diego called Cortica, um, the SLP from Cortica brought a group of nonverbal children with autism and their AAC devices to the circus gym where I teach. Um, here we, <clears throat> we worked with children and their devices to help develop their communication skills through movement and play while learning trapeze and circus skills. It was really so amazing to watch these kids that had no spoken language um, be able to communicate with their devices and be able to express joy, express their feelings and their desires um, through their AAC devices. And I would really love the opportunity to learn more about this type of technology um, at Professor Reese's AAC camp. So, if my six-year-old client enters the therapy room and stares at the wall, then ignores my request to play and would not answer to his name, I would begin by playing and engaging in a fun game where he could just barely see me out of the corner of his eye while I described how and what I was playing. At the first sign of him giving me any kind of attention, I would just lay on the positive reinforcement. So if he <clears throat> turned his head, I would say, hey, Billy, I really like how you just turned your head to see what I'm doing. And then maybe I would ask him, you know, a question about a cartoon that was maybe on his shirt. Um, and I would just con continue reinforcing any kind of at attention or engagement that he gave me. And I would continue engaging him and begin to build rapport until he got comfortable enough where I could start slipping therapy in. I've been researching graduate schools for a couple of years now. And the University of Pacific has a really impressive re reputation for fostering a collaborative and supportive environment for their students. After visiting the campus and meeting Professor Brock and Professor Bowles, it easily became my very top choice for of schools for a number of reasons. Professor Brock's excitement and passion for the work he does at the Stockton Scottish Rite Childhood Language Disorder Center was contagious, and I would love the opportunity to contribute to and learn from working in the center. It has taken me a number of years to find a career path that inspires and excites me and that will give me the opportunity to make a positive difference in people's lives. The UOP accelerated pace is very appealing to me because it would get me out in the field sooner helping people and changing lives. Thank you so much for taking the time to get to know me. I look forward to hearing from you soon.